Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Backyard. Today we're gonna to be smoking some chicken wings with crispy skin on our Pit Boss pellet grill. Now I love smoking chicken, but the problem with chicken smoked low and slow is that the skin will never get crispy. And on something like a chicken wing, you definitely want crispy skin. Uh, you could have the best seasoning, sauces, smoke flavor in the world, but if somebody bites into a chicken wing and the skin's rubbery, that's all they're gonna remember. So for that reason, we're gonna do a two-step cooking process today. We are gonna start low and slow to get the chicken wings partially cooked and get some nice smoke flavor on them, but then we're gonna crank up the heat at the end to get that skin nice and crispy to finish them off. I like to get the chicken wings that already have the drumette separated from the flats. It's just less work uh, to have to do. I was looking at these and uh, there's a couple, you don't have to trim too much, but there's a couple you can see that have some larger pieces of fat kind of coming off. So don't go crazy trimming the fat, but if you see a big piece like this, it's not gonna crisp up and render that well. So we're just gonna go through with our boning knife and get rid of that little piece just to kind of clean them up a little bit. Most of the rest of these were in pretty good shape. May go through and cut a little bit off. That's meat, don't cut that. But uh, yeah. Um, Get a little piece on the side here. But for the most part, you shouldn't have to do much trimming. So um, we're going to get these guys uh, all laid out on a, a wire baking rack and get them real dry before we put our seasoning on. Another trick to get crispy skin on your smoked chicken wings is to make sure you get the chicken wings as dry as possible before you put the rub on and before you put them on the smoker. So we got them laid out here on a wire baking rack. I put the wire rack on top of a baking sheet with some foil lined underneath. You can buy this as a combo pack. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. I use this all the time for dry brining chicken and uh, turkey at Thanksgiving and anything else that I'm trying to really dry out and get good crispy skin on. So we're gonna take uh, some paper towels and just go right over the top here. Try to get some moisture off these. Get them nice and dry, nice and tacky rather than being wet. And then we're gonna flip them over and do the other side. Okay, now we're gonna let these sit here and dry out just a little more while we get our seasonings together. Now today I'm actually gonna be doing two types of seasoning on our uh, smoked chicken wings. The first one is gonna be uh, Cosmos wing dust. Now I really like Cosmos wing dust, but it's actually designed to go on at the end of the cook. Uh, you sprinkle it on when the chicken wings are finished. So we're gonna cook about half these uh, chicken wings plain with no seasoning and then show you how we put the wing dust on at the end. I've got the honey barbecue uh, flavor today. I haven't tried this one yet in particular, but I really like the other ones. They've got some really cool flavors like salt and vinegar, garlic Parmesan, um, and, and just uh, it's, it's a really good lineup of uh, flavors. So I recommend uh, trying this out. I'll put a link down below. The other uh, seasoning we're gonna use is uh, Bad Byron's Butt Rub. And on the other half of the wings, we're gonna do more of a classic combination of uh, buffalo sauce at the end. I got the Cyborg's Wing Sauce. This is my hands down favorite wing sauce. I'll put a link to this below as well. Um, but for the seasonings, we're gonna be using Bad Byron's Butt Rub. And I wanna talk a little bit about why we're using this type of rub. When you're picking out your seasonings or rubs to use on your barbecue, you really need to consider what temperature you're gonna be cooking your food at. And this really applies to anything you're cooking for that matter. Uh, our chicken wings, we know we're gonna be cranking the heat up on at the end of the cook. Um, so we wanna stay away from any really sugary barbecue rubs. Those types of rubs are fine when you're cooking stuff low and slow, uh, pork butts, ribs, things in the 200, uh, 25 to 275 degree range, but anything over 325, we want to stay away from the sugar. That doesn't mean you can't use a sugary uh, glaze or sauce at the end if you want a sweet flavor profile on your wings. Just don't use it in the rub at the beginning or else that sugar is going to burn on your chicken. Today I'm going to use this uh, rub from Bad Byron's that actually has zero sugar in it. It's still got a lot of good uh, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and uh, smoked jalapeno flavor, but it doesn't have any sugar that we have to worry about burning when we crank up the heat on our chicken wings. It's also just a great rub to use in general on anything else if you love barbecue but you're trying to cut down on the amount of sugar you use. All right, so we put our chicken wings in a bowl here. Another trick to get crispy skin on your uh, smoked chicken wings is uh, to use a little bit of baking powder. We're gonna sprinkle just about a, a teaspoon or so on here and just kind of distribute it around on the wings. This is gonna help dry out a little more moisture and help the skin get nice and dry before we put them on the pit boss. Do a little more. We're gonna put this on before we do our seasoning. And you don't need a ton. All right, I've set about half the wings aside over here on the uh, rack. These are the ones we're gonna keep plain to use the uh, Cosmos wing dust on when they're done cooking. I left the other ones in the bowl. Now we're gonna add our uh, Bad Byron's butt rub. 
I'm just gonna sprinkle this on. And mix it around here to get every part of the wings covered. We got our wings back on the wire rack, uh, baking sheet combo. We're gonna put these in the refrigerator for about an hour uh, while we get our pit boss set up. This is called dry brining, uh, when you just let the seasoning sit on the meat for a little while before you cook it. You can even do this uh, the day before and let them dry brine in the refrigerator uh, overnight. And that's really gonna help the seasoning um, get into the skin, help draw up moisture from the skin. And the longer you do it, the more the skin will get crispy when you do go to cook them. Let's get our pit boss set up to smoke these chicken wings. Today I'm using a pit boss competition blend pellets. It's a really good all around uh, type of pellet to use for chicken. It's got some good uh, oak, fruit wood type flavors in it. Gonna open up our Oklahoma Joe's pellet bucket here. Shake out the sawdust. Remember to always keep your pellets in a good airtight container like this one. I'll put a link to it down below. I'm gonna open up our hopper and load it up. I'm gonna plug in the pit boss, turn it on, start it on the smoke setting here, let it run through its startup cycle. If you need a review on how to start up the Pit Boss and let it run through the startup cycle, make sure to check out our How to Start and Season a Brand New Pit Boss video. We also made a video on how to empty your Pit Boss hopper to change out the types of pellets you're using for the different foods you're making. Once the Pit Boss is finished going through its startup cycle, we're gonna set the temperature to 220 degrees, and that's gonna be the first stage where we smoke our chicken wings. Okay, our chicken wings have been dry brining in the fridge for about an hour or so. The uh, pit boss is stabilized at 220 degrees. It's time to get the chicken wings on. I oiled up the grates a little bit already. We're gonna get our seasoned wings over here on the left side. Spread them out a little bit so they're not touching. They got plenty of space. We're gonna get our plain wings that we're gonna do the wing dust on over here just to keep track of them. Make sure you got your gloves with your uh, cloth liners on underneath so you can quickly get these on and move them around while protecting your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let these smoke for about an hour to an hour and a half and we'll come back and check them here in a little bit. I wanted to mention too that uh, we don't oil the chicken wings before we put them on. Don't spray any oil or brush any olive oil or canola oil or anything on them. We oiled the grates uh, before we put them on, but once they've been on for about four or five minutes, just go ahead and give them a little uh, shake here just to make sure none are sticking to the grates. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, but you want that skin uh, to dry out and the oil is gonna keep that uh, moisture from evaporating. It's gonna create a barrier, so we don't want uh, any oil on the chicken wings. Just want that skin to get nice and dry and crispy. The chicken wings have been on our pit boss for about 45 minutes here at 220 degrees. Let's take a look at how they are looking. All right, we can see the skins getting nice and uh, nice and firm there, staying nice and dried out. And when I say dried out, I don't mean the meat's gonna be dry. Just we want that skin to stay dry because that's what's gonna help get it crispy when we turn the heat up later. I'm gonna go ahead and start to turn these over. As we know, our pit boss uh, does heat from the bottom, so even when we're cooking low and slow, we wanna make sure we're flipping things to get even cooking on both sides. So it's been about 45 minutes. I think we're gonna give these another 30 to 40 minutes on the other side. We'll come back and take a look at that point. All right, our smoked chicken wings have been on the pit boss for about an hour and 20 minutes total now at 220 degrees. Let's take a look at them here. So you can see we have our seasoned ones on the left here, looking really good. We're gonna uh, do a temperature check just to kind of see where we are. Got our uh, Thermapro instant thermometer here. Go in the middle of that one. Get a little deeper. There we go, yep. So we're at about 169, 170 degrees. This uh, temperature would be great 
you know, if we were doing some chicken thighs or something where we didn't have to worry about having uh, some skinless chicken thighs where we didn't have to worry about uh, crispy skin. And the meat's cooked, it's safe to eat, but like I said, our, uh, our skin is not crispy by any means. It's a little rubbery still, even though the chicken's cooked. So what we're gonna do now is turn the heat up. So if you come down here to the control panel, we're gonna push our uh, temperature knob, and we wanna get this up above 400 degrees. Now I could just set it to 400, 425, or 400 or 450, but what I found with the pit boss is if you do that, it takes forever to come up to that temperature. So what I'm gonna do instead is turn it up to high, which is the next setting. For whatever reason, you know, the way the pit boss works, uh, when you turn it up to high, the temperature comes up just quite a bit faster than if you set it to 400 or 450. So we're gonna give it a couple minutes to come up in temperature here, and we'll see you back in a few minutes. All right, after a few minutes, the pit boss is starting to come up in temperature, up in that 300, uh, 50 to 400 degree range. You can see now we've got some sizzling going on and uh, the wings are starting to get some more color on them. So I'm just gonna start flipping these around, moving the ones that are uh, getting more color on them out to the side. And the ones that need a little more color, more towards the middle. Center above the fire pot is going to be our hottest area. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep flipping these. Get them a little closer to the fire pot here. We'll just kind of keep rotating as these uh, ones that get darker, we'll move them out to the sides, and the ones that need more time, we'll uh, move them towards the middle. And if you've got the uh, direct heat option on your pit boss, you can actually open up the flame broiler if you want and get some of that direct heat on your wings. Just be real careful. You only need a few seconds or so sometimes with that direct heat. So I like to actually leave it closed. I still think they get enough heat that way, um, but we're just gonna keep a close eye on them so we don't overdo it. And you're just looking for a nice brown color. Kind of keep them moving here. Move that one out a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of keep going through until they're all a little more evenly cooked here. Okay, so we turned and tossed our wings for about six or seven minutes on that high heat on the pit boss. Um, then I took them off and I put them on this wire rack uh, to let some more air circulation continue to go around them. Um, you want to let them cool down a little before you start putting any sauce or anything on them. And you can see our skin got uh, nice and crispy on here. Um, and let the, let the wings sit for a little while um, before you start putting sauce on. That way the skin crisps, crisps up a little more um, before you do that. So we have our uh, plain wings over here and our seasoned wings here. So we're going to go ahead and put the wing dust on our uh, plain wings. So I'm going to put, put these in a bowl here. You can see that skin, it's got, I don't know if you can hear that, it's got nice and crispy, I'm going to be biting right through that. Okay, we're going to take a little wing dust and sprinkle it on. Toss it around. And again, if you have your cloth liner with your nitro glove on top, I'll put links to both these down below. You can uh, touch these hot wings to help get your sauce on, get your seasoning on. All right, and then we're gonna transfer these back over. Let those set up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do our uh, wings that we seasoned with the uh, Bad Byron's uh, butt rub that had no sugar in it. I'm gonna put these in the bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit of the uh, Cyberg's wing sauce. Again, this is one of my favorite uh, buffalo wing sauces. It's got a really creamy texture, really full-bodied, uh, good, flavorful hot wing sauce, um, but not too spicy either, just a lot of flavor. I'll put a link to this below. We're gonna sprinkle a little, or uh, drizzle a little bit on here. 
You can always add more, so start off with a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is I turn the pit boss back down to about 250. It's coming down it's still at 290, but that'll be fine. We're gonna open the lid back up. And throw these on just for a couple minutes. Just to kind of heat that sauce up and firm it up a little bit. Okay, we let the wings with the uh, Cybergs Buffalo sauce uh, cook on the pit boss for about five minutes or so just to firm the sauce up. Now we got everything plated. Let's see how we did. We got the uh, wing dust, uh, honey barbecue wing, Cosmos wing dust wings over here. See, we got nice crispy skin on there. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite and see how they taste. Mm, these honey barbecue wing dust uh, wings are really good. Uh, that skin came out perfectly. You can see just came right away from the bone there. No fat left just uh just nice clean crispy uh, skin and delicious juicy meat good smoky flavor i'm really surprised how much flavor you get from just a little bit of wing dust on here especially considering we didn't season them uh, before we put them on so i was a little skeptical to be honest um, just to see how it would work and it came out really nice now let's go ahead and try the uh, ones we did with the bad byron's butt rub seasoning and the cybergs wing sauce i'm gonna take a wing here again nice and crispy skin on these as well And these are really, really good too. Good smoky flavor, uh, good savoriness from that Bad Byron's butt rub and uh, that Cyborg's wing sauce is just delicious. Um, we're gonna enjoy these. I hope when you guys uh, make your Pit Boss smoked wings, you enjoy them as well. If you wanna get more content like this, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you wanna follow along the step-by-step -step recipe that accompanies this video, go ahead and click the link in the video description below. It'll take you to madbackyard.com where you can find a whole bunch more Pit Boss recipes and resources, how-to guides, everything you need to get cooking on your Pit Boss this summer. And uh, thanks for watching. When I'm picking out chicken wings at the store to smoke, I, what the heck? It's like as soon as I start talking, it just flies into my face. It's like gnats or something. Makeup.